Hi Anthony and Nick. Uh, remember I was working on that traffic light uh, circuit? Well, I got it finished. I want to show it to you. Here's the battery which powers this for 12 volts. You've seen that. That's And that circuit brings it down to 5 volts which brings it over here. This is that flip-flop circuit that I showed you last week. Anthony, remember pushing the button on this back and forth. It's got two circuits here with two transistors. This circuit here powers this side. This circuit here powers this side. Now over here is my traffic light. Let's see if I can get them both in the view there. Got green, yellow, and red on both sides there sequence with each other to make one side of the street stop and the other side go. Right now it's going real fast. I'll show you how you can change the speed on them. It's got uh, 10 diodes here which comes from these two chips here. This, this one chip um, is a 555 timer. And that little circuit creates this oscillation here which creates the clock for the amount of time that it takes for it for those to change and this is called a decade counter which means that it counts to 10 uh, on each side there's there's 10 pins well there's there's 10 outputs there and it count, counts to 10 by uh, making one hot and it goes to the next one and it does it in sequence and then you know it runs through these diodes which um, you can read it what's called an OR gate which means if this one's hot or if this one's hot or if this one's hot, then you power the red light. You know, it's kind of similar to that. And that's basically how it works. You just use these diodes to direct the current traffic, basically, because the diode will run the current in one direction, but it won't allow it to run into another direction. So you use these diodes to direct the current to go where you want it to go and not to go where you don't want it to go. And I can show you the the thing, the whole how it works here on the simulator on the the computer. Right there's the decade counter. Right, well, right here is the the five 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 timer circuit. Which see the light blinking on and off there. It's the same as right there. And that's, I don't have an oscilloscope, so that's showing me that there's a, a square wave. Um, and it's showing me the amount of time that it's uh, uh, taking, you know, so I can make it faster and slower, basically. And that's, that's put in, that's, that's our clock for, set up for the decade timer. See how that goes in the sequence there. See one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten there. Okay, actually, it's numbered zero through nine. And then it goes up through these diodes here. That's the symbol for the diodes. You see how it's got three on one which will go into your lights and see how it's directed one way but it won't allow it to go the opposite way see, uh, see if you can see that wait till it gets back down there see how it's right there see how it goes that way but it won't let it go that way and the same with over here it's directing it down this way and not allowing it to go back this way when it gets down this way. And that's how it works. Maybe if you come over you can see it. Or we can build another circuit of some sort. So come on down. Oh, here, let me show you... Uh, how you can change the uh, time on it. You can just change, uh, slow it down or speed it up just by changing this capacitor. Remember I told you a capacitor is like a small battery. It uh, 
store charge and then discharge. So the smaller your capacitor, the faster these will change. So if you put a bigger one in there, it'll it'll slow down. So let's let's try that. I'll put it on pause for a minute and show you. Uh, never mind. I can't put it on pause. <laughs> so we'll just try to do this with one hand. Here I'll turn it off and take this one off and see this was a 10 and this is a 47 which is bigger so that should slow it down quite a bit See how much slower it's running now? Yeah, it's a little bit more realistic. Yeah, I even got a huge capacitor here that'll make it more realistic, but I don't want to bore you with that, so I'll just show you when you come here. Talk to you later.